it's Timmy O'Neill, and we are live from OR Twitter Market 2015 SLC UT. Thanks for being here. We are in the legendary graces of the legend of Julian Carr. Hi, friend. <laughs> How's it going? It's going well, thank you. Thanks for being on the show and extreme skier, big mountain skier. Tell us about that. Uh, it's a great way to be in the mountains. You get to seek adventures and you get to you know, be a curator of telling stories because um, I have a brand myself and I'm a sponsored skier. So at the end of the day, we're packaging content um, and making stories. It's a great job. So when you say you have a brand yourself, Julian Carr the brand? in a way, like the professional athlete, or what do you mean, like, or do you have a brand that you created and represent? Tell me about it. Got an actual brand. But discreet. it's Discreet. No, yeah, discreet. Okay, and this cool. This is one of our jackets, one of our flannels, beanies. So in the process of being an athlete, when did you decide that you would create discreet? Right away, I knew that your shelf life as an athlete is limited. But Knuckles. I love skiing. Smart guy. <laughs> I love skiing, and literally discreet is another alignment of that passion, really. So it's a nice creative outlet. I get to create things I think are in line with people's passions for snow because I'm, I'm one of them. And so as far as uh, developments in ski trends, what do you have for, for your soothsayer ability or, to, or intuitively to see what might be changing in the near and distant future? Sure. For discreet, you know, we make very non-technical casual apparel because I think there's so much saturation of very technical-oriented brands, and that's great. But I want people to rip off their Arc'teryx shell to reach straight for discreet when they're ready to go hang out. And I want you to be able to wear our stuff as a layer. I want you to wear it as your primary headwear choice, but I really want it to be for the seekers, the doers, the guys that are out there spending the majority of their time in technical wear. I want them in discreet as soon as they get out of it. And then let's talk about something that happened recently where you became known for the highest cliff that's ever been launched while also going inverted. Yeah. And do you get to practice that? I mean, smaller cliffs, but it's not like you can have that big room filled with balls or foam blocks that you're landing in. <laughs> or how does it work? It's uh, a slowly expansion of comfort zones. Because uh, when I first started skiing in eighth grade, you know, I'm jumping off two, three foot, five foot jumps, cliffs. And that slowly turned into 10, 15, and I got really comfortable 15-footers, really comfortable 20-footers. And I just worked my way up. And it's really weird to say it, being removed from the situation, but I'm completely comfortable jumping off of 200-foot cliffs. So, Julian, why <coughs> OR? Why Outdoor Retailer? As far as being in this room with the brand, your brand, Discreet, and then with your professional skiing, what's important about being here? It's a great um, place you can come to meet amazing cornerstones of the entire outdoor industry. So it's fun for me because I'm very much entrenched in the snow world. And so it's very fun to come here and to learn more that's going on outside of snow. And Discreet's branded in the outdoor market. So it's fun to, you know, be challenged to learn a new frontier and to meet cool, interesting people. And this show's perfect for it. And born and raised right here in Salt Lake. Oh, really? Do you, do you live here still I do. as well? Home base. Well done, dude. Yeah. Hometown boy in the house. That's well, Julian right. Carr, great to talk with you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, impressed with everything you're doing from the physical aspects to the business aspects. Keep it up. Thank you. This is Timmy O'Neill signing off with Julian Carr from Discreet Live from OR.